même moi. I would like to introduce this song to all of you because this is the soul of the South America. Hmm. Every time we start like listening this song, we make, as we call the trip is South America. With the banana. And the name of the song <laughs> is called El Condo Pasa. You can search it on YouTube. Hmm. Yeah. So last time we did introduce our, um, our trip in Argentina, and this time after leaving Argentina, we we travel in Bolivia. Hmm. So, like, what do you think about the country? No, oh, the people is so nice. Yeah, people is uh, so genuine. And full of food. And do you remember what the first time we crossed the border? That was the first time for mm -hmm. us to do it in in South America. Mm -hmm. And just the day before, we are so I was so worried because I didn't know the direction or something. No, you always like this. But once we drop off and the people are trying to help us and also we mm. just we, we, we are like we just follow the the the, the guy, the, the people <laughs> that carry a lot of stuff. Because there's so there's many people and... they um yeah, as you say, mm. I hold hand so many products, mm. like food to cross the border. Mm. But it took us so much time on waiting. No, just for you lock me because like, of her passport. Yeah, I don't know. The officer keep checking my passport, like think that maybe I am illegal. Yeah, because you are VIP. <laughs> mm. And then later on, then we reach to the um, um, checkpoint in Bolivia. We mm. need to find out the bus to go to the first station, Tabisa. Mm. But. I didn't see any bus stops there, but at the same time, yeah, I need really to find the currency to exchange the money because mm. we didn't have the the, the Bolivian peso. Mm. When we checked the map, it's so only maybe fifteen minutes walk, but um, yeah, because of the maybe uh, too much people and very mm. crowded in the market, we cannot find our way and we cannot speak um, properly Spanish. So she got a cab and then. Less than three minutes, we are at the bus uh, station. Because at that time but, um, I was in a hurry because I I hold my pee long time, but you just spend so much time on checking the currency, the the best weight. Yeah, so I I couldn't wait and I couldn't find the toilet. I just want to leave the place as soon as possible. But um, you didn't tell me that you hold the pee and I I <laughs> you didn't see it there some toilet just next I didn't to us. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. So I I I was like sad. anyway. I was with, so I really minutes. wanted to cry, and then I kicked, I I took the taxi, and then just uh, took three minutes, and then the the taxi arrived in the bus station. Yeah, and then we pay for ten euros, like one hundred Hong Kong dollars, for less than three minutes, and then we are wiped the toilet. You know, in the beginning, I was so innocent. I asked them, "Oh, uh, Bolivia is such a believe, um developing country, but how come the living standard was so high?" And I realized I what we were cheated. You were cheated yeah. with me. <laughs> and once we arrive in this bus station, and we look for the the the, the bus to go to to Pisa, and then we check the um, different agency ask about the the ticket, mm. and then the lady show us like um mm. um there's a bus um yeah, it looks so quite fancy and modern yeah very modern there's a double decade one yeah. and then yeah very comfy one and you can lay down very good and sleep yeah, and then no, yeah we can bus. have a lap and rest in the bus um. and then she asked us to wait for one hour and one hour later they he she called us to get on the 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 transport and yeah. then um finally the opposite out, direction finally is we find out. Is he was a fan, a mini fan, <laughs> no. not the bus. I thought, oh, yeah. why not the bus? And then just we realized, yeah, and we were the last to get into the van because they were almost full Stuck of the with people. people. And the chickens. The capacity was like uh, originally ten people. I don't know how, how could they manage to get all the fifteen people. or twenty people together with the chickens yeah. all stuck <laughs> in the van. And. Because we have a lot of luggage, and, and then they just put on the top of the van and then drive so fast over, uh, over space. We, we uh, sit over in capacity. the front together with the driver, and then we saw the driver keep praying and kissing the cross. <laughs> and we did the same too because he would drive too fast, and I hope we're safety arrived. <laughs> but but uh, luckily we we were safe. Yeah, there. We are safe. Uh, and right in the Tupiza. Yeah. In Tupiza, we were about to join the four day trip to go to Unuyi, the the south legs yeah but somehow we we find out um maybe like it was too long for four days and also the sceneries is not and not so the good, good not season the, to the right see time the to see. flamingo so so we decide mm. 
just that's like, okay, we just I like, spend one night there, mm. and then the next day we took a bus to go to Unui. Unui one day trip. Mm. That's a good choice. <laughs> mm. Yeah, once we arrive in Unui, yeah, we I can feel the the air was so thin because we are reached in the high altitude, like almost four thousand, three thousand eight hundred sea level, yeah. more or less like this. Yeah, super cold. I, I couldn't want. I have to walk very slow. Yeah, very cold. And mm. it was really cold at night. Even uh, 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 during the daytime, it was cold. At night time, it dropped to minus seven degree. It was so cold. And you can hardly find one hostel with hot water. Hot water is so important, but it's always hard to find hot water mm. um, around the country. Mm. Proper hot water, I mean. Yeah. You need to have some skill to yeah, have hot water. Yeah, you need to use a special technique to, to, use the, to keep below. the hot water on. No. Anyway. Um, the, the hostel we stay have we warm water. We joined a tour. We one joined day tour. One day tour. With a very bad agency. They, I remember the lady, the owner of the lady is called Fatima. Fatima. And um, at first, um, she promised us so many things. And we found out she over-promised. Yeah. She promised like only like six people in the van. Five like, or so seven stuff, people. It's uh, overloaded, and also we find there's no seat belt in the car. No that, belt, that, that's so the, the thing issue that we concern the most because yeah. there's some accident, car accident always happen in the area. Yeah. And also she said she we can choose the lunch like um we eat choose the, fish or, um, the chicken. Yeah. But find out the only yama. Yama meat, and then yeah. during the lunch we only eat the, the maybe yama. rice with papa. <laughs> the, the the chips yeah. <laughs> with some ketchup. Poor yama, anyway. We don't eat, we don't want to eat the yama. So but sad. it's their major food. Mm. And then, but so far the one day trip was okay after leaving pa- Fatima, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I think it's good uh, because uh, we know that the uh, one guy died on the same day we had the trip. Yeah. In Wuyuli, so but the areas so always have have a car accident and the driver didn't care the people didn't care the, the, they the didn't care didn't they injured that. people they didn't send him to the hospital directly they just send another jeep uh, yeah. to pick you up know, other passengers you know the reason then, why this always have had accident just because like you know the world biggest salt lakes in Wuyuli they're all flags no traffic night and the driver no could, uh, could drive wh- whatever she he wants uh, like could free over, over speed yeah. and then it make crash and then the car fleet and people could die yeah. it always happened mm. we're just lucky so next time if you go to that place i, I suggest you better take some time to read the um, agency and also more mm. get more understanding about the tour yeah like well more important and yeah. then to draw it so we we visit to the salt lake the world salt lake and also the train cemetery uh, two spots then no, I don't movie. fancy about the cemetery of the train <laughs> the train cemetery yeah and then after but but you know, we did enjoy right after the trip even we enjoyed the local life yeah I enjoy the local family restaurant I enjoy eating there we have to dinner in there hmm. yeah at night time we went went to the street and we want to find the local restaurant and then yeah and uh, I enjoy I enjoy the street at as most maybe yeah. maybe maybe in on the the weekend the on weekend yeah, the so night market there's a lot of local people and having a one there are, were a lot of uh, merry go one toys a uh, popcorn and like the family with the children they all get on the street celebrating yeah, a lot of uh, stuff to sell to sell and you can buy any any cakes, something like that. So yeah, that's very good. Hmm? Mm-hmm. So it is a uh, the experience in Unui. So after Unui, we went to uh, we took the bus to go to Sukkot. Potosi first, yeah. Potosi, Potosi. Um, maybe some of you may heard about like um Potosi. They was famous for the silver mine. Silver, mm. but uh, like long, long time ago, um, Potosi was uh, one of the rich city in the world. Mm. Have you imagined that? Because like the the city was for real lots of silver. Yeah, and even produce some coin, the currency the m- in money the past factory. to Japan and to China, so far away. Yeah, mm. and Potosi, the other day of Potosi, I feel like is a little bit higher. I didn't. Oh, much higher and much. Yeah, the weather was so cold, and there were some my field, and then we did a visit to the my field, and it's a very dangerous stuff. 
but uh, a lot of people doing there because of the money. Yeah, mm. the but the environment is super bad, so you cannot. It's not suffocate under the cave and then full of dust and chemical, not toxic one, and then they even they even they have the bone inside the cave to have the crack in it, in, in the cave something like that. So it, you if you visit the cave you. You always can hear the boom, boom, boom sound. Mm, my building, one of the activities in Porto C because um, the area they re, uh, really rich in mineral. They produce like the silver, copper, tin, also the lithium. And mm. then the, we we join as man was saying that we join the mine tour. tours. And, and then, the, the tour guy who actually the he was a miner. His mm. father, his grandfather, and then the last generation they Dying did the same the job. They died in the same my field. My and like actually, because of the health issue, also the accident too. Actually, uh, the 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 labor just next to us when we had the tour, uh, they nearly had an accident. Yeah, it's quite dangerous. Field. Super dangerous, and the 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 facility there is so very poor. poor and then they don't have the PPE. Yeah, let's maintain the. the yeah, super bad and foul. They didn't. I think the one read care and monitor, but they believe in like something spiritual things. Mm. They 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 know. Uh, they they have a kind of a like, evil to pray. Mm. Um, we say they call it teal. Mm. They are like to stomp culture inside the cave mm. every day before it start to work, and they will pour um some alcohol, alcohol in the front, and also and they, they put some coca leaf on top, and put the and later on they put a mouth. cigarette on the teal mouth. <laughs> yeah, your mouth. The reason why they do this is just to like like for uh, for for them like kind of protection because the the, the humans the, the people know that they are taking something from the mother of god pachamama and then just them so they hope tia will not do some revenge on them so they they give by them some alcohol coca leaf yeah, to play them <laughs> and cigarettes so that they they will be safe well it was quite interesting <laughs> they hope tia don't do anything harmful to the human mm. they believe in this mm. But it was a tough job, I believe. There but anyway, we met a lot of good people in Bo uh, in Bo 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 Sea. Yeah. When we just arrived there, some people, local people, just uh, treat us some protest. Protest. Yeah, it's not your protest. A protest, as a dessert. Yeah, because uh, when we saw Postcard. something interesting, I mean the food in the market, they're like. Pancake, but uh, the like the pop Puffy. up if what air inside, and then we we want to try, but uh, we ask uh how is it? Is it delicious? And then the the the, the local people just buy it, buy it buy the stuff for us, and then just go. On. Yeah, they order for us before we need to pay, but we yeah. find out that we didn't need to pay because the guy already settled the bill. Yeah, like hit and one percent. We didn't know him, but <laughs> I think they were really nice people. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Good experience. Yeah, the the the, and the, also the, the first sweet. thing very sweet in Bolivia is, yeah. The, the, and people are so sweet too. Like even yeah, you take the chance for to go somewhere and then yeah. you always be the first to serve. Yeah, they want uh, because uh, we we have the ticket and we have to sit at the best. But uh, if the locals saw know. us. They, they always, always like give out the way the, yeah, they sit to us. Ask us to, to sit, sit in the front a and more comfortable then place. when they have some food, uh, maybe special or they think it's very good, they will let us try and then yeah. But this we ask it, what so is it first? And then they they if for the long journey, the bus will stop in the middle of uh, maybe next to okay. his home, <laughs> and then the 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 whole family just uh um where so like just, for lunch yeah just maybe maybe prepare some food for us of to buy. Of you need to pay. So it's just like com comido. So like a so homemade feeling. homemade food, and you can feel very home. Yeah, but feel. but one <laughs> thing we notice like people while they are on the bus they. They always ask. Sometimes they ask the driver <laughs> to stop. stop because it's quite and then, common. And then the male just go at the bed and then pee, and then maybe for the old lady, they yeah. will just get out of the door and then just pee in front of the <laughs> car. I don't know how <laughs> the old lady manage because like there's some traditional um women they have the traditional crow with long long a uh, big head uh, with oh. the long crow, but they just did it like they pee in somewhere, but they could manage it. Yeah, without seeing. Other other ones no one can see like it. Poop, so. The long dress cover it well. <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. High skills. <laughs> <laughs> the more high skill for the men. Like everywhere, you can see the men pee. 
just next to the wall. I can still wall the pee everywhere. I think for the man is everywhere. But in everywhere. some place, but not, not in the city. I think for the man is everywhere, but for the old ladies, yeah. <laughs> for the old lady, what? Very well to see just next to the door and then pee. Oh, that's enough. Uh, we'll change another topic. Yeah, uh, so after, I like, put see any facts that you want to share or we can move to the uh, next city, Sukhle? Maybe move to the next city, Sukhle. Mm. Okay, Sukhle is uh, one of the capitals in Bolivia. Bolivia have three capitals. So in Sukhle, there, yeah, yeah. there's yeah. so many. Maybe the impression is full of students, full of university. Yeah, <coughs> lots of young of people there. Food, uh, so many foods in Macado. Mm. Mm. So many juice, so many avocado. And the weather in Sukhle is less cold and more warm and with lots of sun. Yeah. It's quite enjoy. I like, I like that city. And, uh, and not so expensive i mean the living standards it's cheap yeah because a lot of students only one staying there. one or two hong kong dollars for the ice cream I, we yeah. all we find out that the whole country even like from the age of like baby age I, and also like to the age of nanny age they all love ice cream elado they, yeah. they can and enjoy everything on the bus and elado. Canena, yeah. elado. canada is a special flavor a cinnamon flavor it's one of my favorite too yeah. and they yeah. can, uh, you can you can find it everywhere in, in Bolivia, it's so good, taste so good. Yeah, when you talk about the Gerardo, I we always use the Gerardo as a standard to see the different standard of that place. But normally I use the Coca-Cola Coke, oh, and then you use, use the ice cream. <laughs> the price of the ice cream is a different standard. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Sucre is the one very local and cheap. We, we spend a lot of time on Sucre, right? Compared mm. to other places. Because uh, we have to study Spanish in in that city. We know our Spanish is not so good. And then to, For me, it's to prepare the communication, we took a course. And we, the at the beginning, we took two, two days to find um, a suitable school. There are so many languages good, and then we find now we decide to to take to, a course in the Phoenix language, any the Phoenix language school. The name of the school is Phoenix language school, and then we because we have a different level of uh, Spanish, and then we both take different teacher. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. do you remember the name of your teacher? No. <laughs> I remember, uh, my teacher is, uh, he's called Grover, we still keep in touch. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was a big fun to, to, to improve our Spanish. As yeah, well. we choose that school because I don't want to learn a lot of uh, grammar and I don't want to watch a lot of passage. I just want to have fun and then, uh, can let me survive through the whole South America trip, so. That yeah. one is the best <laughs> for me. We also play with the locals. Yeah, play the ball game. Yeah, so good. The volleyball. Yeah, I try and to try this ball game. We stood to the Mercado. Yeah. We always have lunch in the local uh, market. Yeah, I like, I like it's cheap. I like eating with the locals in the lunch market. Yeah, like the night like night. Hong Kong style Dai Pai Don something like that. Yeah, they have some. I'm, yeah, I don't enjoy eating, uh, having lunch or dinner in, in the decent restaurant. We always choose local. Yeah, we always choose local because you can chit chat and talk to each other. I mean the locals. They they always ask some questions <laughs> yeah. to us. Because yeah. We, yeah, you every can time see we from the, the topic, face and outlook we were lost so far. Well, what I want to say, every time we start the topic about the start part from the food, uh, we point what it is and then we start to have a communication. Yeah. We always have the difficulty to to understand and uh, read the menu. Uh, always we see the people what they were eating and then pointing out and ask them what they're delicious and then we order the same, right? And finally, the waitress recognize us and very welcome us to go back every day at the yeah, news. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like funny enough, like the Bolivian local cuisine is quite interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, you cannot think about uh, some wine, some pasta, some macaroni, all in one place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are uh, ordering chicken with rice, but like uh, one portion of served chips or pasta together. Pasta, rice, and macaroni. Just like make sure you have uh, every meal. You make just to make sure you have make enough food. <laughs> Starch, lots of starch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but another thing we did enjoy, we always buy the juice. Yeah. We got 
Before that, I didn't yeah. realize there's so much yes. food they produce. Yeah. There's so many food You can there. find different colors of food in the market. Yeah. And you always find very big avocado in the, the market. It's in very cheap price. Powder, they call it. Wow, so cheap. I love it. Completely cheap, but still expensive, like for the standard level. Yeah, but yeah. still cheap. This, this, okay, we spend a lot of time there to socialize mm. to the local community. Mm. But the, one of the unforgettable experiences is like we doing our stay in mm. the Airbnb. No, our homestay really family nice homestay. is super nice, Dominic and... Dominic was a French guy and um, no, Norman man. is a Bolivian lady, they are a yeah. couple. Both of them mm. cannot speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic only speak uh, French and Spanish and Dominic is like... Yeah, um, you speak Hawaii, French and wife is Spanish. <laughs> no, <but> just a <laughs> little bit. I speak Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have a little bit difficulty to communicate but with like, our body language, uh, all the problems solved. Yeah. <laughs> just... All the problems solved. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. You remember the trip you so well. Uh, yeah, because on the I, big day. I have I have my birthday at the home and then they bought us a birthday cake and with very good red wine as a dinner. Yeah, and we watched the football match all together. Yeah, there's a the, um, there's South America. Copa America, Copa America, some of like the American oh, so good. Copa America. Yeah, the, Television at her. At his you watch the so football, bad. football is so important in South America. Yeah, we have a very uh, impressive experience. There's all the people just standing on the street, on the street and, and they're the watching TV. into a small television on the street. And then when when someone want to football is a, a to have a score and then, oh! Oh, so like, so so impressive. Yeah, for your birthday, um, the language school teaches also several of you. Remember? <laughs> yeah, they tell us that they they have a traditional. They prepare two cakes. One is small, one is big. But the small cake, they told us that the small cake is like put on face. Yeah. And the second one they, for eat. They say it's a traditional <laughs> to put on my face. Then we need to. Everyone just <laughs> have to bought uh, have to buy maybe two or three cakes and just two or three and um, two or one or just put on the. the Only the, for the, the birthday, birthday person. Birthday person. Yeah, we need to find us uh, our friend Indira as well. Yeah, sugar. Indira, is that true? <laughs> huh? So we really, we really, really have a great time in Sucre. We also, we remember, we also um cook um our Hong Kong style dinner to our host. Yeah, we always do that <laughs> in every country. So we yeah, want to show so them the yeah, Hong Kong style cuisine. Yeah, homemade cuisine. They, they also said they want to try our chifa. Chinese style food and then we, yeah, we go they enjoy it. Homemade. They enjoy it. They because uh, we we po we serve a lot of portion and then no matter that <laughs> but I have, way out. <laughs> I, 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 I have difficulty in the supermarket to buy the meats because they have different oh. portion and they had I don't know the name. Lomo. Lomo is beef, right? <laughs> and you don't remember. But uh yeah. Lomo, yeah. Lomo is a young name. And one of the, the, one of the, the beef. is the meat. No, yeah, it's the okay. beef. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pascal, you can. We need to do some reaction of our Spanish. I <laughs> uh, just know um, Boyo Pascal. The famous dish is called Pique Macho. Pique Macho, right? I yeah, we remember. <laughs> and also, remember. it's like. Cardo, cardo, something like, um, like bull penis soup. It's really famous in. Bolivian cuisine, but I'm I'm not there to try. Blue penis soup. <laughs> I don't know. But next, like like after Sucre, we went to another place. By the flight. We flew. Co Cochabamba. We Cochabamba. 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 Yeah. And then we took a to see the Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, is one of the another. The major one we wanted to visit the national park is called Parque Toro Toro. You skip the Jesus. You want to skip the Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is one of the like it's a well tallest Jesus. We spent three hours to <laughs> wait for to queue up for the speed cable car speed. and somehow we, we spent like less than car. ten minutes to, to take the photo and then we take another like one and a half or two hours to go down. We we took like three thousand steps down and then finished our trip in Jesus. 
Go there is to see the footprint of the dinosaurs. The real dinosaur footprints. Yeah, the two guys are introduced showing us the footprint of the di different kind of dinosaur. But I yeah, know, with uh, a small no knowledge about the, of of the dinosaur, very cute one, small, and then even, show us the footprint. Even even the Cantonese, I don't know about it. I just a dinosaur, that's it. <laughs> uh, just Kim Long Yip Long, oh. Chok Long Po Long. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, we we saw some like. Cave, mm. and you climb inside the cave. Yeah, we, really good fun. Yeah, really, really adventure. We need yeah, to you need to use all your body muscle well. and then use all the position, and then uh, jumping up, lying down, and then yeah, everything. Yeah. You have to use your body to destroy yeah, the stone inside the cave. Ha ha ha! The two guys like, show us like with the the right leg or the left leg first, but every time I always confuse the right or left. It, and also that he speaks Spanish. It doesn't like, matter. I have difficulty to, to, to define, but somehow at the end, the two guys said we yeah. did best. The most Better important thing that you can do is not. Like in New Zealand, that you mm. cannot touch the stone because it's maybe thousand. You can't find in another country because like before. for that where we surf. Yeah. But just for Bolivia, I allow in the people Bolivia, to come inside. you can touch, you can come, you can kiss, or you can destroy the because stone. Because it took no like thousand knows. years to make the formation. Yeah, but, but no one cares. <laughs> in Bolivia, they just open to the public and yeah. to the tourists. So it's a really enjoy that trip, and then you <laughs> really like experience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, because I have a similar experience in Iceland that lead to come in the ice cave and then close the lights and then hear the sound of the ice. Toot, toot, toot. The water. Toot, toot, toot. And then it's a similar, similar experience in Bolivia as well. So I think it's very good. And sometimes you have to. Just, just be careful that you will be slippery and then one of our uh, teammates because a few guys a bit from UK Rebecca tell me no I mean I mean one guy the yeah. strong guy the tall guy the handsome guy handsome guy he dropped his mobile phone in the in cave the water. and full of water so but you help him to find out the not oh, you? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, it doesn't you. matter. Yeah, just we just want us. to share about our cave and climbing experience in 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 Doro Doro, right? Yeah, very good. I enjoy it. Yeah, we had a recommend if you. You have to do that. But going to there see is the hard. Dinosaur for like, like you take the mini man from Cochabamba. Wow, it's a light three hours to go to Doro Doro, but the it's a light so mere trip. It's totally crap. <laughs> because we saw oh, the, of the passenger, we saw the uh, local lot of us, and then some of them keep vomiting. They all keep vomiting. The and local vomit. Had to stop the car and let him go out to to vomit. So, <laughs> and then one one way, I I remember that you fell in into sleep at that time, and then I saw the car, the minivan. We were sitting inside. And then just drive in the middle of nowhere, low low, and just drive through the river, <laughs> and then the water just woo The four WD. No, not four WD. It's a Toyota High Ace Way Mini Fan. Come on, just yeah, they have it's a like a bush to woo, and then the water woo across the river by the car. Wow, the first With time. The uh, yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I was. We were in the ferry. Uh. <laughs> Like another like transport experience in like we were going to um Copacabana we took the bus but at the bus also like took the boat to go to cross the boat yes, to the land. Yes, yes, the whole yes, bus it's really a ferry but to me. <laughs> the whole <laughs> bus like <laughs> took the um the whole bus like dro uh, drove into mm. the boat and then crossed the border. But uh, you if you were uh, in, in old enough in Hong Kong you will have the it's same experience. Like in the past, one boat, one our boat. car, our motorbike can can drive into the ferry and then cross the harbor. 
to to gym center or to central like in hong kong but uh in a long boat in a big reef uh, yeah not like in hong kong but in the, before copacabana we sea. also visit to um cochabamba to la paz the capitals one of like the second capitals of the country Ah, oh, the cable car cable car city, car city. because mm. the, the um la paz is like a high mountain i would mm. call it like this um the city of the sky because i the mm. mount the, the the area shape is like this all the buildings built around the mountain just imagine that you were taking the mtro in hong kong and there's a different color of light they have a uh, Black color, blue color, purple yellow color, color, yellow color. Different color. light, to go then, different direction. Yeah, but, but all the same way to go up and yeah, down. Yeah, but you were in the sky and in the cable car. The cable car is free, but... Less than three seconds, not the three hours to take the <laughs> cable car in Jesus. You pay three thousand dollars and then you can and go then, to your place up and yeah. down. This is super cheap and very good experience to us. You're very... Not just very for the tourists, convenient. The, for the public as well. Yeah, and very cozy and very leisure and then the you see the cars and building under your yeah. foot and you yeah the view just is like so flying stunning. in the sky yeah, especially at night time all the lights on on the building they're so romantic whoa but slow with you but like to, to, <laughs> to la paz uh, what we did like we have we, we we were about to fly to the amazon in the we're amazon yeah. we're Navaki, no, right? but the we cannot enter the Amazon in Bolivia. Before you, so then sad. we already heard that the flight was already cancelled. Unfortunately, it did happen to us to two and the, uh, two times. Two times as cancelled well. two times, <laughs> and, and then, then we like we know that there's another another opportunity like by land. Yeah. We took we we can we could take the bus to go there, but you need to spend fifteen hours. But whatever, we we decided to take the bus. But finally, <laughs> we cannot go for the land way because uh. The protester protest uh, the, the 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 farm. Yeah, the farmer, um, the protest to the government saying that um they this the government stopped them to plant the coca tree. And so they, they, they no all go somebody. on the street and then block the wall. So at the end, we have to leave the place and then couldn't go visit to the Amazon in Bolivia. We somehow we we did it in Peru, right? Mm. But after La Paz, we went to the last place. The Copacabana. Same Bolivia government. I don't blame you on uh, Bolivia people. I know what happened in the Bolivia. I just know the government. I think that the crack. people they are not happy to the government. I don't know like the government. But at least well. I think now they are better than us. At least they have the right to go uh, to to go to to do the demonstration, do the protest in Hong Kong. Like, you might not be able to do it anymore. Yeah, you are wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like the last station we did is like Copacabana. Which is the area share share the same area, t like together to Peru, mm. and then once we we arrived there, I I feel the I feel suffocated again because of the high, I have the high I have to do a segment there. You are so high, you take some weed. <laughs> I already keep chewing like from Argentina to Bolivia. I keep chewing the coca leaf, but it yeah. couldn't. It was okay, I walked so slow, but... Because in Bolivia, it's inside the mountain country. We always, when we took uh, transportation, we always put the coca leaf in our mouth to... To chew. Yeah, but the eastern there. part was it's a flex area, but we didn't go there. No. But in Copacabana, it was okay, even I, I, I walked so slow, but just one day I took a shower, I start to I feel... Uh, um, well, I start to have diarrhea and vomit. Maybe Keep you going. have uh, food poisonous. At the beginning, I thought that so, but no, it was high, higher than the sickness. And then uh, at night time, we went out for dinner. You you order your favorite or their signature dish, the fish trucha con limon, and I order pollo a la plancha, the chicken. Yeah. Once Trucha I ate, con few, arroz, no. <laughs> know, and matter. then I just say I, I told her I want to vomit and then the next second I <laughs> <laughs> immediately but, just one second. But the next day we need to uh, we also have another trip we we have joy, right? Yeah, you said that you Sunday. insist to go so and the Sun Island. I insist to go because I, I really want to go there. Because it's really a very beautiful island in the lake. Yeah, it's at the Soleil in So beautiful. Yeah, 
uh, I, at the beginning, people. I was I was so tired. I my face I look pale. But you still uh, can but walk. I I still can I could walk, but you help oh. me to carry the baggage my my bags. I don't remember. It yeah, doesn't but, matter. But the, but the turning point was since you you felt hungry and you <laughs> eat something in the restaurant Always and you something. order food, and the owner of the restaurant asked me what I want to order. I said no because I didn't feel and well. And then he gave you a cup just, of munia. Yeah, see munia. This wow. The munia. The, the, I think munia is similar to pemin. So since I have it, I feel I I reborn. And refresh. I, I, I refresh. I I I I feel back the energy back, back to normal. I find wow. to him and it's like that, a magic. Every time I I if there's a munya um, tea, I will take it and then you keep to um because we can share. Tea. So every day after that day, we keep drinking one cup of coca tea and one cup of tea <laughs> munya <laughs> munya. Only in South America we can all drink Munia and go get tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the best. You yeah, really. love the coca leaf and Munia. So, any um special experience you feel in the country or a special counter? Mm. So far, excuse me. <laughs> I think we cover all of them. Is it? Uh, the most thing I enjoy it. Like, um, I really like their custom. The the crow, the color, they're super colorful. Um, the ladies. Um, yeah, you bought a. Uh, you bought a. We bought a pig leg. Mat. No, it's a it's a, it's a crow mat. with colorful color. The pink, the the purple color. Usually, the people, uh, the ladies, the old ladies, to carry the baby. Yeah. Or sometimes or they carry, carry the, the stuff. The, the carry food, anything. Everything. I bought it. <laughs> no, it's you know, it's I hope I can it. show it you. Yeah. yeah I I really like their tradition. That, um, the getcha, the um, the languages. I don't speak their language. I really I, love I don't mean Spanish, but other languages. People. They Bolivia are very they are friendly. So friendly. They stop. They are, even they're shy, but they are so mm. so nice to us. Because we can. Uh, we did, we enjoy. Much. We really enjoy our trip in Bolivia. Right? Yeah. So like. Gracias. So like. Yeah. See you guys. Bye bye. Adios. Adios.